Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review where today we are taking a second look at the Walmart Lithic One Person Tent. This is an update video in regards to my experiences with this tent and we will check out the replacement to see if the quality is any better. Just in case you didn't see the first episode, I will go over exactly what happened. I received the Lithic tent, I set it up, one of the pole clips was broken. When breaking down the tent, another clip broke. The tent was also covered in loose threads. And with this tent, you have color-coded poles and fabric. So the color coding on the pole was nothing more than a piece of tape that looked like it was just ripped off of the roll and put on there. It was coming undone. It was really poorly done. Without a doubt, the first lithic tent that I had had a lot of problems. Hopefully with the replacement here, it will be better. Before I sent back the first version that I had, I was able to set it up for three days and the tent was exposed to over three inches of rain. I'm sure you're wondering how well the tent did, and let me tell you folks, it didn't leak a single drop. I was very impressed with the waterproofing of the very first tent that I got. It's a shame that the first version of this tent that I received had so many problems, because there is a good foundation for a good tent to be there, but it's all about the quality. Walmart, Moose Jaw, you guys cannot skimp on the details. You guys cannot skimp on the quality. If you have to raise the price to a hundred bucks to bring out a good quality product, do it. You have to focus on the quality over the low price. Anyways, let's go ahead, set this up. Let's take a close look at it and let's see how the quality is. I like the footprint. It's very lightweight and it's included with the tent, which is awesome. There are so many companies out there who want to charge you like $45 for a footprint. And that is ridiculous. Also, most of the time they're very heavy. That's not true with this one. With the body, let's look at the clips. So far, so good. Nothing's broken. Let's take a look at the poles. The poles for this tent are aluminum. They are thin. Some of the thinnest aluminum poles that I have ever seen. The pole ends are taped just like the previous, and it's just as poorly done. Already, the tape is coming off. With the tape on the poles, it really does seem like an afterthought. It's almost like the company realized, like, oh crap, these poles have to go a certain direction. Oh, we better fix that. Moving on to the clips, let's do this. My nature is to be careful with them, like overly careful because I know they're brittle, but I can't do that, right? I have to treat this tent the way that the average consumer would. I have to treat this tent the way that it's designed to be treated and used. As far as the loose threads go, I'm not seeing much. Oh, okay. That's weird. So let's come over here and let's go inside. Take a look here at the corner. There's tape. That's strange, look at that. To me it looks like a mistake of some sort. Like a piece of the seam tape adhered to the floor. But because of this, this tent cannot be pitched correctly. The fabric is folded here. So I will have to undo this. Oh no, huh. It looks like it left some sort of weird coating on the floor or it tore the coating off of the floor. I'm not sure which one. I'm not going to really set this up any further. I'm just taking a look at the quality, seeing if I see any issues. The seam tape looks good. I'm not seeing any issues right off the bat. This is where we stand at the moment. The quality of the replacement looks to be better than the initial copy. At least none of the clips are broken. That's a huge plus, right? I have to say that I'm still very concerned about this tent. These clips worry me. I mean, right now it's 75 degrees, but what happens when you use this in cold weather? These clips are going to become even more brittle. And plus, I clip these on one time. What happens when you do this 150 times, right? 
As far as my testing goes with this tent, it will continue. My advice is to hold off, don't purchase one of these yet. Even though I have to say that I like the overall design of this tent. The fly pulls away from the body very well. Ventilation is great. You could pull out the fly on the sides for added ventilation and airflow. It's tall, it's wide, it is a short tent. This is not made for taller individuals. If you are approaching six feet, I would not recommend this tent. The shorter you are, the better this tent will be. With these clips, I am concerned, but I will continue to test this out and give this tent a fair shot. Already we know of potential issues, so those have to be monitored, and they will be. If you have a question for me, send me an email. Make sure to comment down below what do you all think about the second version of this tent. The quality is better, the clips aren't broken, but that doesn't mean that they will not break, especially as it gets colder and that plastic gets more fragile, right? I don't know, I don't know. Thank you all very much for the support that you all have shown the channel over the years. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to support a channel that is 100% agenda free, a channel that's not trying to sell you anything at all, you can do so through Patreon and I do appreciate it. I personally purchase right around 99% of everything that you see on this channel and never will I become a salesman. I don't do affiliate stuff. I don't make commissions like other channels. I'm never going to recommend a product so that my wallet gets fatter. That's wrong. That's my promise to you all. Strength and honor, bye.